Hey what's up guys, this is the interesting javascript library of the week series. I am Nitij and in this fifth episode I will show you a javascript library which can be used to create presentations in the form of html. That library is reveal.js. The presentations which we will make using this library can be run in a browser window and there are loads of features which are available while we are making the presentations. Reveal.js packs a variety of useful ways in which we can demonstrate any kind of presentations. For example, there are different ways in which the presentation slides can be transitioned. We can nest more slides under one slide and then can have a vertical flow of nested slides. I think the reveal.js documentation is easy enough to understand. I wanted to let you guys know about this library with some introduction so I will cover the basic stuff like the installation and the basic usage. But if you think that you are in need of any kind of help then feel free to use the comments area and I will try my best to support you guys. Reveal.js can be installed in one of two ways. You can either execute the command npm install reveal.js to install it for your node application or you can download the reveal.js files and can then set them up in your web applications folder. All you need to do is to grab these four folders which are CSS, JS, LIB and plugin. These folders contains all the JavaScript and CSS files which this library needs. You can also choose to remove some of the files from these folders if you are not using those features. For example, if you don't need to highlight your code within the slides, then you can choose to remove this highlight folder. This is Visual Studio code and on the left you can see that this is the very basic setup of all the different files which we need to create the HTML presentations. You just need to create all of these folders and the index.html file in the same folder to start creating your slides. Now the usage of reveal.js is simple. First we need to fetch the reference of all the CSS and JavaScript files which we need to create the HTML presentations using reveal.js. In the very default case we need these three CSS files and the single reveal.js file. Next we need to create a parent div and we need to set its class name as reveal. Then create a child div inside the parent div and set its class as slides. Now for each individual slide create a single section element and place your slide contents inside it. So this section element is representing a single slide. To have more slides we can simply copy and paste this section element. If you want to create a nested slide within another slide then simply place multiple section elements within a single section element. For example what we can do is we can copy all of these section elements and then we can add all of these sections as children of this single section element. Now these four slides are nested slides within this individual slide. We can also use the markdown syntax to style the slide contents. To do that just add the data markdown attribute to the section element for which you want to enable the markdown content processing. When reveal.js will find any section element decorated with this data markdown attribute then it will parse the contents of that section element as markdown content. While we are talking about the markdown syntax, inside the documentation I would suggest you to take a look at the markdown attributes which will allow you to use an external content file for a slide instead of adding all of the markdown content within the section element. This can allow us to gain modularity and concurrent development while we are creating the presentation. When we are done creating the section elements for our individual slides, then we need to initialize the reveal.js library so that it can convert all of these sections into individual slides. This can be done by simply calling reveal.initialize. Now let's take a look how our simple presentation is looking so far. So this is the presentation which we created with the individual slides. This is slide 1, this is slide 2 and this is the slide 3 with nested slides. This is the second nested slide, this is the third one and this is the fourth one. And we can then move on to the next slides. This is the fourth one and this is the fifth one and this is how we can create simple presentations without doing much effort. We can also provide a bunch of different options while we are initializing the reveal.js library. For this we need to provide an object as an argument when we are calling the initialize function. So there are a bunch of different configuration options and I'm going to tell you about the ones which I think are useful. We can choose to show or hide the presentation control arrows. This can be done by adding the property controls and setting its value to either true or false. We can also display the slide number by adding the property slide number and setting its value to true. If you want to retain the last slide when the page is refreshed then we need to add a property which is called as hash 
and this will need to be set to true what this will do is it will simply add a hash value to the browser's url so that whenever we will refresh the page then the reveal.js will simply navigate to the previously open slide if you want to enable the touch navigation then simply set the property touch as true we can also change the way in which the slides transition so we can override the default behavior by adding the property transition and we can set it to one of the available transition values for example we can set the value as fade slide convex concave zoom etc or we can also set none as a value if we don't want any kind of transition animation to play while the slides are changing there are a lot more options which can be used and i suggest you guys take a look at the reveal.js documentation to find more useful configuration settings we can also use the javascript code to access a bunch of different apis exposed by reveal.js these apis can be used to programmatically control the flow of our presentation if you would like to do that there is another pretty useful feature and that is we can save our entire presentation in the pdf format this allows us to simply carry the pdf file with us if we have a need of such a portability to save the pdf file all we need is to include a css file for pdf generation and then we need to open the presentation page having print pdf as a query string within the url last but not the least there are themes which can be switched and can be set for our entire presentation each theme can have a separate css file so you can be sure that you will not be including any unnecessary css content in the web page for themes which we will never use that would be everything that this episode has to offer Reveal.js is a very extensive library to create and work with presentations. Most of the times, you will not even need the advanced features, but hey, if you ever need them, then you know that they are there for us. Do let me know what you think about this episode in the comments area. If you like this video, then please place a thumbs up on it. Also, please subscribe to the Codefirst channel if you haven't done that already to stay updated with the latest videos. I am Nitej and I will see you next time. Till then, take care of yourselves and have a great time.